I came over to Dr. Eskos at once when this photograph was taken, and I don't know what I got, but I wasn't, I was pretty rotten. So he said to me, do you mind about Mr. Berger to being here to take a photograph? And I thought he was there to do with the uh, medical side of it. And I said, no, I said, I don't mind. That's all right. Until I read the book or saw the book, then I realized it wasn't about medical. I thought, I thought it would be uh, showing how Dr. Uh, Escort sort of done all his work. I didn't realize, didn't know what this Mr. Berger was writing about. So it was a surprise to me when I, I read it. It never dawned on me that it was, you know, I, I knew the man that lived down, he lived down New Land, because our farm was next door to his garden. And I didn't, I don't think I, that's the only time I ever saw him, so, but uh, apparently, well, after he left and the house was, I think it was for sale or something, and at the back, the, he had double uh, shutters, like at one of the back windows, and there was all these folk, all these carving, uh, drawings on there of nude women and all that sort of thing. <laughs> How long he lived there, I can't remember. Because, I mean, we were up at the farm and we did, we did used to go down to the village. I didn't really see much of him. No. In fact, the only time I did see him was in the surgery. A, friend, a girl who was a great friend, she didn't even know it was me till 12 months after it came out. Well, when I was down the farm, I had this watercress bed, which I used to go down and pick this watercress, bring it back up to the house and wash it, bunch it up. But this day I was down there for about an hour. And when I came back up, the children, the two, you and Gerald, Gerald said, Mum, the, these people are up the drive, want to talk to you. Well, I didn't know who they were or anything at all about them. But they wanted to ask me about Dr. Esco, about the book, rather. And I said, I don't know. I said, I've got no idea. I haven't seen the book. I don't know what's in it, so I can't help you. What they wrote in the, in the paper was nothing like what Dr. Esco was like. And I wasn't very pleased. Because, uh, and my mother was disgusted with me because I'd said anything. Well, I, as I said, I didn't know what was in the book. I hadn't seen the book and I didn't know. All I thought was it was about medicine, the medicine side of the book, nothing else. So I, I couldn't tell them anything. Dr. Eskell apologised to me, oh, months afterwards when I saw him, he said he was very sorry. That was all.